I finally did a very presentable version of the Joy Chip version 1 is this board right here and with this we can make a lot of uh, things it can help us to do like several sequences with just one channel of your receiver or put LED lights in your airplane or whatever it's like a tiny Arduino for your airplane and it's very comfortable because you can plug your servos right in and the rest of the pins can be used for anything else now this is still in development but I'm going to show you how I did this and how we can use it As always, everything begins with the design. I've been working on this design quite some time now because I've always had the idea of building a circuit and be able to program it and to customize it the way I want it. It's something similar to an Arduino but built specifically to carry out some specific tasks. In this case, the task consists on customized LED navigation lights for RC airplanes or any other RC platform. Servo sequences, you can connect up to two servos and make these complex movements if you need to do some like landing gear or something similar. And of course, it's 100% customizable within the code so you can program the speed, movement and everything you want. Another idea is to connect sensors to it like a thermistor or a photoresistor and trigger actions according to the threshold of these sensors to, for example, trigger a fan if the thermistor is measuring a hot motor or something similar to it. So this is just an example. So now you get the idea. It's very similar to an Arduino but it's a little bit limited in memory space because the Atani 85 is smaller. Now I'm going to show you how I designed this board. This is one of the most complex designs I've ever done because I'm a beginner, so this is not complicated at all for some people, but for me, it is. Okay, so remember that this is the version 1.0 and this is gonna have more modifications in the future if I have time. And actually I'm thinking to use an Atmega microcontroller like the one that Arduinos have because it will have more power and also will be more flexible to program. What you're looking at right now is the process of the design using ECEDA. This is a free software to design PCBs that is free to use online and you can also download it if you want. Once you have finished the design, you can order your PCBs with JLC PCB, which is the sponsor of this video. They are specialists manufacturing PCBs and they have the best price on the market. So you can order up to 10 PCBs, roughly the size of an Arduino Mega, for only $2. You can even choose whatever color you want. For this first version, I've ordered 5 PCBs. I chose the blue color because it will make good contrast with the golden color of the pads because I've also chosen the Enic surface finish, which include golden plating. This process is a bit pricier, but it looks amazing, and also it has good chemical and electrical properties. I've also designed an Arduino Uno shield to be able to program this ship very fast and easy. And after ordering the boards, I wait for a few days and I get the box. And here we can take a look at our design. And now is the time to gather all the SMD components to solder them onto the board. In the components we have a Sinar diode, capacitors, resistors, LED lights, a voltage regulator, pin headers, straight and 90 degree angle to be able to connect servos, and of course the brain of the whole thing, the Atani 85.
Once collected all the components, it's the moment to start soldering. This is something that I always say, this process is very tedious because of the size of the components. However, this process is not impossible, it only requires a little bit of patience and a steady hand. I know that a lot of professionals will criticize the way I solder the components, but let's just say that I don't have a formal education in electronics in general. Everything that I do is because I've learned it myself using the internet. And here I have ready my board Joychip 1.0, designed to carry out a specific task on airplanes or any RC platform. And now let's finish the shield to be able to program this ship very easily. That's it, just connect a couple of components and the pin headers and we are ready to use it. This Arduino shield is based on a previous project where we built an Arduino shield to program at Megas, like the ones used for Arduino Unos, or even at Tiny's. I'll leave a link in the description or in the screen. Let's take a look at the previous versions of Joychip. This is the first ever built Joychip, but at the time it didn't have that name, and it is a beta version, which means it wasn't publicly released. Then there was a second version, also beta, and this worked okay, but the thing is that it wasn't practical because they didn't have any voltage regulator, so they were not as practical as the new one. And then there's the version 1.0, the one that we're doing the video about. It's public, you can download it, reproduce it, or do whatever you want. Everything is available in the description of this video. The idea behind this project is being always design a very lightweight and small chip to be able to use it in any RC airplane, drone, or any other platform and that way reduce complexity and weight. So that's why I use a Natiny 85 because it's very small and lightweight and there's no need to use an Arduino Uno Nano Pro Mini or something like that. But there is something similar on the market and it's the DigiSpark. The DigiSpark is very similar, it uses the Natiny 85 as well, but the design is different. For both the DigiSpark and the Joychip, you will need to install libraries in your Arduino IDE to be able to program them. The DigiSpark wings with the ability to use a USB port to program it very fast, whereas for the Joychip you need an Arduino shield and an Arduino Uno to program it. But the Joychip wins when it's time to connect servos to its pin headers. And that's a good advantage because that way you don't need to connect extra pin headers or wires to be able to connect a servo or anything else. For a future version, I'm thinking to use a NatMega, like the ones used on Arduinos, to have more processing power and more capabilities in one chip, so that way we will be able to do things like data logging in a microSD card. It will be very similar to an Arduino Pro Mini or something like that, but with a compatible design for airplanes or any RC platforms. For now, Joychip is very useful to perform very simple tasks. Take a look at this program I've uploaded to it. It will take the input of one channel from the receiver and trigger an event to drive two servos in a sequence. This could be very useful to open and close a landing gear using a door and the landing gear itself, requiring two different servos. You can program the speed and the movement that the servo will do, and also when exactly the servo will do it. Bear in mind that I'm only using one channel from the receiver to do this whole thing. At the same time, we can add a navigation light system. This servo example code will be available in the description of this video along with the design of the PCBs so you can download it or you can order your own. Well, I hope you liked this video and if you want to help with the development of this board, just leave it in the comments or contact me and I'll see you in the next project.